Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edim TV. It is the station where you watch and I'll be taking you through business studies from one lesson number 17. The topic it is the production. I'm your tutor, Lucy Madam. Uh, our lesson objective today, we are going to discuss the division of labor and specialization. Then we also discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of division of labor and the specialization. Then we classify goods and services produced in an economy. So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain or the, what is division of labor and specialization and should be able also to state the advantages and disadvantages of division of labor and specialization and also classify goods and services produced in an economy. We start by the definition or explanation of division of labor and specialization. We start by the first one, division of labor. When we talk about the division of labor, it is where a production process is broken down into stages and each stage is assigned to an individual or a group of individuals. So that is what we refer to it as division of labor. You break it down that process of production. Uh, the next one, it is the specialization. It refers to where one concentrates in the production of what he or she can produce best, leaving other people to produce other commodity. This is the point where now you start producing what you can produce the best. You don't produce everything, you produce the best, you concentrate in that. Then you leave the others for the other people. As you can be able to see, division of labor, each and every person has his own work to do. One is carrying, the other one is using the, the, the doing this one, this one, this one. So, but they are doing the same job, the same duty. Advantages. Output per work is greatly increased. That is one. That, that is whatever they produce increases. Number two, it encourages innovation and innovation. Uh, one, there is that room of going to get to invent new things in your line. You can be able to start other things in your line, note them and start them. Number three, it saves time uh, because it does not waste a lot of time moving from one place to another. Number four, it increases efficiency due to great reuse of machines. You specialize in one, so you are able to, if at all it is repairing the machine, you can repair it very fast since we know just as right thing where you're supposed to touch. Number five, high quality goods and services are produced. Number six, less mental and physical efforts required as workers become used to one routine job. These are advantages that leads to the monotony of work resulting to the boredom. So that is a point where now we start taking um, this job and it is there, it is there, so that monotony is created. Number two, it does creativity since people work mechanically just like machines. Number three, it makes a worker to depend on one trade if his or her skill does demand, resulting to unemployment. It encourages use of machines, thus causing unemployment. Number five, it may make a country depend on other countries. Number six, it brings people together. This makes a uh, marine to social injustice. And then number eight, lack of pride in the final product. 
Classification of goods. Human wants are satisfied using goods and services. Goods and services can be categorized according to the following. Free goods and economic resources. Free goods, they are the ones that don't have monetary value. Economic goods, they have the monetary value. Material goods and non-material goods. That is also another one. Number three, producer goods and consumer goods. We also have the perishable and durable goods, public goods and private goods, then intermediate goods and finished goods. Activity. Highlight five ways in which an entrepreneur contributes to their production and explain five ways in which large-scale organizations are able to reduce their costs of production. If at all you want to refer, Get the KRB 2011 Inventor Secondary Business Student Form 1 Third Edition. If at all you have any question, any query, get us through the SMS. You can also get us from the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook or you can Twitter us. Stay tuned to your routine.